everyone, my name is Fumike. I film about business ideas, do it yourselves, lifestyle and food. I film from Lagos, Nigeria. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upload. So when you subscribe to my channel, you get various business ideas, various do-it-yourself craft on my channel. So stay tuned as this will be an interesting topic today. So today I'll be talking about how I started my business with no capital and how I made my first six figures. So in 2016, I resigned my first job and I went for Lagos for Nigeria Air Force recruitment in Kaduna, the final screening. So after everything, I was disqualified based on my height. I didn't meet up to the needed or to the required height. So I came back to Lagos with little or nothing. After coming back to Lagos, I knew going back to my first job was a no-no for me because the job was so stressful. Like I knew there was no way I was going to continue with that, so I needed to find what I could actually do for myself while I was home. And before then, I've actually been a business girl right from my early stage. My mom is into business. She's a tailor. She has a shop. She has businesses. So whenever she travels, she leaves myself and my sister in the shop. We are usually in charge of everything. Then I remember when I was in my junior secondary school days, there was this woman in my street that was selling snacks. So when going to school, I, will, I went to meet her to last with her that, ah, ma, I can always take these snacks to school. I will sell, then you give me my profit. So I've, I've had a business with me right from the start. So whenever I sell, when I, when I, on my way coming back from school, I go to her, I retire and she gives me my profit. Then I go and save. So it has always been like that from my, my early days. So after I came back to Lagos in 2016, I started doing my research on things I could do. Then I got to know about dropshipping. So dropshipping is the art of buying and selling without having to stock up goods. Dropshipping does not require capital startup. It can be done by anybody in any way. The only thing you've been needing is your mobile phone with internet. That's all. So I did, after I knew about dropshipping, I did my research. I found importers directly, people import directly from China, Dubai, Turkey, UK, US. So I spoke with them that I want to start dropshipping for them. And most of those drop, most of those importers usually have a group, either Telegram group or WhatsApp group. That's where they share all their. Um, that's where they share pictures prices and specification of your particular goods they are selling. Majority of them have, although most, most times they usually have WhatsApp group. So after I found those importers, I discussed with them and I asked with them that I want to start drop shipping for them. But I told them, I asked them, this is very important, you ask them for their policies because different sellers or different importers have different policies. For some people they don't do exchange, for some people they don't do refund, why some people don't do refund but they do exchange when because maybe after delivering the item or a particular dress to a, a client, a customer, and the customer has complained about it, some of them accept the bag and do exchange. They tell the customers to pick another goods, while some do not. Some do that, while some do not do either exchange or refund. So you need to ask them about their policies so that there won't be any misunderstanding. Then after that, you ask them to add you to their groups, either their WhatsApp, or telegram group where they post the pictures so this is how dropshipping works after you've been added to the groups they post they do a regular update some people every two days some people every day some people weekly they do updates of available goods their sizes their prices in the food so from there you get the pictures you advertise on all social media platforms please always make sure you have a presence online even if you don't have now you can start something interact with friends online Open up your Facebook page, your business Facebook page, go to Instagram. If you have friends on Facebook that have huge followers, you can pay them to help you advertise. I did that in my early stage. I met with some of some of my friends on Facebook who had huge followers to help me advertise. I paid them. It was it was not so expensive then. I paid them to help me advertise and yet it yielded good good returns. Then you can also do Facebook ads and Instagram ads too. The truth of the matter is, if I could do drop shipping and I succeeded in it, I am very sure you can also do it because I used to be very, very shy. People would know me in my early 2016, 2017, knows how shy I am. So, yeah, based on Jimmy as a seller, it's free. GG, Facebook, Instagram, your WhatsApp, your WhatsApp status. Many people are really on the, on the, on the mining 
WhatsApp status, which is it works well for me. Sure, I get like 40% of my customers on my WhatsApp status advertising. You have to always show up in online business. Something is very important. You have your presence every day is always important. You have to always show up every day. Let people know that you're selling something. So your social media page. You remember that you're gonna have a physical store now. Your social media account or pages is your virtual shop. Always make sure you show up every day. Don't leave your your wall for a day, two days without showing up. Always put your place, put yourself in places where you'll be noticed. Always strategize how you know people will see you every day online, Instagram, Facebook. Always try to advertise something. Even if you don't have anything to advertise for that day, you can post something, let people know that you are there. I also do Instagram and Facebook ads. I promote my goods there. I pay, I've said this before, I paid influencers to help me promote my goods as well, which I really got the needed result there. Then another thing is you don't have to be shy about what puts food on your table. No, I used to be shy, but at the time I, I, I knew that I needed to shake this shyness off. So you, need to, you don't need to be shy. It's legal. So you don't need to be shy about this. Let people know that you're doing it. In the buses, when you meet your co-passengers in the buses, introduce yourself to them. Be lively. Tell them about what you do. If it's perfume, you can. So don't be shy about the way you advertise your products. In churches, are you a Christian? When going to church, tell people you are. This is why I sell your mugs. Advertise yourself to people while going on the road in your street. Let people know one-on-one -on -one market. Let people know this is what I do. Advertising, you always get customers. You will always in buses while going out bus stops. You can stop few people, interact with them, let them know this is what you do. You don't have to be shy about this because this is what is putting money or food on your table. So all the top, yes, this is what I'm selling. So basically, the um, the importers I met with were those in the fashion, those doing those selling fashion accessories, beauty products, mother and child care. Um, kitchen items, home and gardens. I met with them, I allies with them. Then after they must have posted the pictures in the group, I take the pictures and the prices, then I add my own profit to it. And make sure you add reasonable price profit, please. Don't overshoot I and add so much to it. Add reasonable prices to it. Within, then I was adding within 1,000 to 2,000, depending on the price of the good. That's what I was doing. Then I started advertising, like I was advertising on every platform I could. Jews I was in and people started noticing me and you have to be one thing another thing is you have to have integrity in online business this is something that has worked for me over the time in short there are some goods that at first I was not selling but when people must have bought for me my relationship with the way I relate with them I made them so comfortable whenever I'm sending my goods to them I make sure I follow up I chat the important please I need the drivers number I sent to them I was always making sure I was following up so you really have to come back to me and tell me. I think um, there was this particular woman. I thought I was not doing kitchen items. Then it's a, it's certain part, a certain customer came back and meet me that ah, this and she bought net from me some years ago and she's still using it. Do I have this item? I didn't have. I said I said okay okay. She should give me few. Then I was going to refer back to her. Then I went and asked people. I saw another importer who imports kitchen item. Now as I added kitchen items to what I sell you. So in online business, these are one part of those things that work for me. Consistency is key. I've mentioned this before. Make sure you show up on your pages every day, every day. Position yourself in places you know people will always see you. Show you as in throw yourself to their faces. Let them know that yes, this when they think about shoe, the first person that comes to their head is this lady does for me care is a shoe seller. When they think of dresses, when they think of shoes, but they know that yeah, there's this lady that is really disturbing on my WhatsApp status. Let me go and check her out. You will know always position yourself in ways or in places you know they will always see you every time. Also leverage on social medias. We've discussed this before. Jumia, Gigi, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp status. Leverage on those social media platforms to advertise yourself. So after you must have advertised and gotten a prospective buyer, conclude with them. After doing that, they pay to your own account. Then you chat up the importer that yes, I have an order for you. You pay the money of the goods to them and the delivery fee. Then they deliver on your behalf. That's all. Just make sure you follow up. Let them. Let them. They should always, if it is outside Lagos, you get the driver's number. From the importer and send to your customers always follow up always show you care you, know, you can always do between check up on your customers it helps to some might have forgotten you or maybe even lost your contact but when you and always make sure you have your, your customer profile where you keep 
as in be very very careful with contacts always keep always call them and always back up your contacts with google please so after getting after you must have, you must have concluded with your prospective client or your customer you get the full details of the customer their names their phone numbers their address the day they would like you to deliver then you conclude and send to the importer to do the delivery on your behalf so if those customers are within lagos you follow up on delivery always check on your customer have you seen the dispatcher and always tell always check up with the importer too so if there's any changes maybe the dispatcher had accident on the road it happens at times or they had faulty tires or they were arrested by police always make sure you know on time so that you can get back to keep in touch with the customer to fit them back always check up always like you monitor the liberty get to the customer if it is outside lagos you once they drop the goods with the driver at the park you collect the details of the driver and send to the customer and always check up as the driver calls you have you gotten your goods after they must have gotten their goods ask them have they checked it was their young waiting for their review reviews will always come either good or bad make sure you work on those places i made sure i was always open to criticism either good or bad i made sure i work on them to be a, be a better person in my business those are one of those things that really helped and worked for me so with drop shipping i usually had within 1000 to 2000 to my to the price of the item and that's my own profit there are days it depends on how much I advertise. There are days I make up to twenty thousand in two, three days. There are days it doesn't move. Yeah, there are some days like that. But within a month, I make over fifty thousand naira. Over fifty thousand. Then, at some goes on, people were knowing me. When they be, whenever they need something, they come and ask me. Phone them. Do you have this particular item? Even if I don't have, I will still go and make my research and find importers who bring those items in, compete with them, and sell off. So that was how I made my first six figures from dropshipping without stocking i started i started stocking up last year yeah 2019 that was when i started stocking up when i started importing directly from china and talking for myself so with this dropshipping it is it is hot cake it's people are making money from it you can also make your money from it so if you want me to compile the names of tested and tr trusted importers that you can drop ship for kindly drop a comment in the comment section let me know then i'll make a video to show their names and their contact of people i can vouch for that i know that they will never disappoint you and also drop comments on any video you would like to watch on my channel i will always listen to you so i hope this video inspires you to start up that business now i'll be waiting to hear your success story and please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button comment let us interact i'll be waiting for you in the comment section